believe it or not. With Ozzie Nelson and his orchestra, Shirley Lloyd, and believe it or not, Robert Ripley. Tonight, I'm going to, I'm going to try to top you. I, I'm going to show you the biggest human being that ever walked the earth. This man who is here with the New York, uh, here in New York today with the Ringling uh, Brothers Circus, towers eight feet seven inches in the stratosphere. And here he is, the tallest man who ever lived, Robert Waddle. Thank you, Mr. Ripley. Oh, uh, Robert, this is uh, Mr. Nelson. Well, uh, stand up, Mr. Nelson. I am standing up. Hey, what is this? <laughs> I can't hear you down there. Hey, Ben, will you get me that step ladder? Well, I'll move it a little closer to the mic. Maybe you can climb up. Oh, Ben, I don't know what I'd do without you. Okay. Oh, okay. All right, Robert, here I am right up here to talk things over. Well, Ozzy. Ozzy, 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 but he is eight feet, seven inches tall. And scientists predict that he will grow for three years more and attain the unbelievable height of ten feet. That's taller than Goliath, the biblical god, who is only uh, nine feet nine. You say he's only 19 years old, Bob? Yes, only nine feet years old. <laughs> I would rather you wouldn't mention it, Mr. Nelson. You see, I'm kind of self-conscious about my age. All right. Uh, Robert, uh, Tell me, do you mind uh, people staring at you when you're out walking out on the street? Oh, no, I just overlook them. <laughs> you know, back home, uh, uh, Robert is just like uh, any normal 19-year-old boy, except, of course, for his size. He was graduated from high school and already has finished his first year in college. Uh, do you go in for sports, Robert? I play basketball. Basketball? Oh. What position did you play, Robert? I was the dropper. The dropper? Yes, you see, they threw me the ball, and I just stooped over and dropped them, it in the basket. <laughs> well, how were you in the classroom? I could never answer the teacher's questions. The ceiling was too low. Ceiling? What did the ceiling have to do with it? I couldn't raise my hand. <laughs> hey, Robert, tell me, what do you do for exercise? I walk. Walk? From coast to coast, I suppose. Yeah, for the first ten minutes. <laughs> you know, in spite of Robert's enormous size, Ozzy, he eats no more than anyone else. He eats no more than his parents or his brothers and sisters, all of whom are of normal size. Did he require any special... How is it down there, Bob? All right. Did he require any special care? No, his parents brought him up. <laughs> I, think, I think they kind of overdid it, though. <laughs> Say that, uh, uh, Robert. Will you tell Mr. Nelson about the time you were invited to that cocktail party? You know that time when one guest had a, a highball too many? What, did he offer to fix Robert a tall one? <laughs> no, he just took one pop out, looked at me and said, raised his trembling hand, he said, I'll never touch another drop. <laughs> <laughs> well, Ed, you couldn't blame him for that. Thank you, Robert, and good night. Good night, Mr. Ripley. It's a long story. <laughs> <laughs> 